everybody welcome to minnesota sports hq i'm ben and uh sorry for not posting over spring break but uh you know back now um did a lot of work for the channel um got a couple of videos you know kind of prepared for the next week or so got a little bit of a plan going um so now if you're seeing this uh new viewer please you know feel free to like and subscribe um Hopefully we can get a little bit of a family going about discussing Minnesota sports, and that's the goal of the channel. So let's get straight into it. We had the Twins playing today, and uh, we had the Wolves playing today. Now, uh, you know, big news in both camps. Uh, Minnesota signed Lance Lynn recently from uh, St. Louis, a uh, very big signing. And, uh, you know, obviously gets into our starting rotation. And now we have a decent, decent four-man rotation. So I'm pretty excited for the middle of the season when we got uh, Santana, Berrios, Odorizzi, and Lynn strolling along. And, uh, you know, the Wolves picked up Derek Rose a few days ago, which is awesome. I really want to get one of his jerseys. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, and he played his first game today, so... We'll be talking about that for sure, but uh, a look at what happened in the Twins game early on. Uh, we played the Rays, and, uh, you know, decent game. Uh, Tampa Bay scored three in the first inning, but Minnesota responded with five in the second inning. Um, I mean, at this point, most of your starters are playing. You know, we had Maurer at DH, Eric Ibar at shortstop, Escobar at second, Sano at third, Vargas at first, um, and then a few... Uh, backups in the outfield. But uh, Maurer went one for two. Eric Ibar actually went two for two with two RBIs and a run. So big performance from him. Escobar went one for two. Sano went one for two. Vargas went 0 for three. So not really, not really trying to get back on the team, it, it could be said. Um, Tampa Bay answered with one run in the fourth to make the score five to four, still in Minnesota's favor. And then Minnesota pretty much put it away with a run in the eighth inning to make it 6-4, but Tampa Bay got that consolation run in the ninth inning to make it score 6-5, Minnesota with 12 hits, and Tampa Bay with 10. And uh, getting the win for pitchers was Aaron Slaggers. You know, he gave up three runs at the start, but, uh, you know, after that looked pretty good. So, you know, not too bad. For the Twins today, uh, good win after yesterday's game got uh, rained out, unfortunately. And uh, you know what? Let's move on to the Timberwolves now. Played the Golden State Warriors. Um, obviously, both teams without their best player. Uh, the Warriors missing Steph Curry and the Timberwolves missing Jimmy Butler. Sorry, <laughs> a little bit of a brain fart there. But uh, T-Wolves had a 34-24 to 24 lead at the end of the first quarter. I'm just like, okay, you know, some chances to do some damage here. And then, uh, you know, somehow the Warriors lead by seven at half. And I'm just like, what? And then, you know, we're tied at 84 at the end of the third. And I knew it was going to be a good game. And then apparently, Carl Anthony Towns took over the game. And the Timberwolves win 109-103 to 103 over the, uh, over last year's champions. And, uh, Actually, with this win, uh, we stopped the Warriors from clinching a playoff spot. So, you know, we can take some pride in that. Um, and the fact that I think they're they're definitely top three teams in the league right now. Um, Kevin Durant was their big man as usual. He had 39 points, 12 rebounds. Absolutely ridiculous. Klay Thompson had 21 points for him. And, uh, you know, they really missed Steph Curry as... Their starting point guard, his name is Quinn Cook. And, uh, yeah, I've never heard of him before. So, I mean, that just must be a horrible job, playing backup point guard to Steph Curry. 
Oof, tough one there. But uh, Zaza Pachulia had 16 off the bench. Uh, other than that, not too much to talk about from the Warriors' perspective. Really missing Steph Curry there. Um, one thing I want to mention is that uh, Bielitsa played 40 minutes of this game. He had 10.7 rebounds, 4 assists. Not too bad of a performance from him. But uh, Taj Gibson, you know, performed. 11 points, 13 rebounds, uh, really putting in work on the defensive side, had a block. Uh, Andrew Wiggins had 23 points with uh, five rebounds, three assists. Pretty good night from him. Uh, he made half of his three-pointers, which, you know, that's pretty good. That's what we're looking for from him. And then uh, Jeff Teague had 10 points and 10 assists, so nice double-double from him. That's what I like to see. Uh, Jamal Crawford had 12 off the bench. Tyus had 8 off the bench. And Derrick Rose scored his first two points in six minutes. And he had a rebound and two assists. That's pretty good. But he also had he also had two turnovers, excuse me, and a negative 17 point differential. So that's not very good. And I know what you're thinking. You know, I forgot one man, Carl Anthony Towns. Of course, I was just saving him for last. 31 points, 16 rebounds, two assists. Uh, he had 14 points in the fourth quarter, completely carrying us to this victory, you know, single-handedly almost, and, uh, you know, getting a much-needed win. Obviously, we were close against Boston last game, but, uh, you know, close doesn't cut it, especially with how close the West Division is right now. Um, it keeps Minnesota in the playoff spots at 39 and 29, but, uh, you know... <laughs> Just about six teams in the West are separated by, like, two games right now, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, you know, we're two games behind Portland. We're tied with New Orleans for fourth place. We're tied with Oklahoma City for sixth place. And, uh, you know, if San Antonio wins their next two games, they're tied with us. And if LA Clippers win their next three games, they're tied with us. And, uh, then we're one and a half games above the ninth seed and tenth seed. That is ridiculous. Please, NBA, get the 16 seed NBA playoffs. Please. This West Division is absolutely insane. But, uh, you know, very good performance from the T Wolves. I'm very happy with their performance. And, uh, you know, you have to be happy with a win, especially with. Uh, how hard our schedule is, and, you know, we're, we're working on it. Uh, I think, I mean, we still got a chance to make the playoffs, but, uh, yeah, things just have to kind of go our way. And so that'll about do it for me, um, reviewing March 11th. Um, I believe tomorrow I have an interesting video coming out, so be on the lookout for that on March 12th. And then, uh, March 13th will just be a normal daily review. Uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, I think Jordan will be with us on the channel tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.